Hi everybody, I'm Joby Smith here in Staten Island for the NYC Football Game of the Week in the Battle of the Unbeatens, Curtis hosting Erasmus. We pick it up with 9.53 to go in the first quarter. Ahmad Anderson ran a great go route but the big TD reception from Quincy Barnes, it was 6-0 Curtis. Then Tyshawn Lawton took off showing that fantastic open field running ability all the way in for the score. And with 7.20 left in the first, it was 14-0 Warriors. But Erasmus woke up and answered right back with their dynamic QB, Aaron Crookshank, to close that gap. Still in the first quarter, more explosive plays from Lawton on the long run that led to another quick score. That put Curtis up 22-6. Later with 4.26 to go in the half, Crookshank brought the Dutchman back within 10. But Curtis led 30-20 at the half. In the third quarter, Erasmus rallying back with Crookshank's legs. That gave the Dutchman a huge lift and made it just a two-point game. Of course, big Dezuri Addison got himself in the game, powering in for the first go-ahead touchdown for Erasmus. It was 34-30 at that point with just over eight minutes left. Later with the clock ticking down, Erasmus up by 12 when the Warriors struck back and it was 42-36 Erasmus. The Warriors struck back, it was 42-36 Erasmus. Then with 1.20 to go, Quincy Barnes answered and tied the game back up at 42 apiece. Then the biggest play of the game came from Ahmad Anderson coming up with a big two point conversion. They go on to win it and stay undefeated over Erasmus. We talked to him about it after the game. Battle like this, resiliency, belief in oneself and the team as a collective group. But what did you see from your guys today in this big W? What I asked them to do before the game, play with heart and play with passion. And that's what they did to the bitter end. Talk about some of the individual performances you saw on both sides of the field here, incredible athletes out there, well coached, mutual respect between Absolutely. each program. I mean, that's a great program. They got some great players out there. Um, we, I think we have some good ball players out here as well, and those guys made plays when we asked them to. You know, you take it game by game, and I know that, but obviously this has got to mean something as you build towards the playoff. Yes, it, I think it's, it's good for the kids' confidence, that the players, they feel that we can compete with anybody and, you know, win those games as well. Talk about a key turning moment in this game for you. When we were down and, we, you know, Quincy hit Josh DeCambry, gave us a little spark, and then we scored 36. Good stop on D. And then, you know, guys made plays. Tyson on the catch, get us down there, and, you know, resilience to push it in. Ahmad Anderson comes up with a big play again. We talk about him. We talk about Lawton. We talk about Quincy Barnes. Just talk about those guys who are your key skill position players. I mean, you know, Ahmad, Ahmad's been, been around forever. And, you know, he's only a junior, Tyson is only a junior, Quincy is a junior, so, and they play well together. They mesh, you know, Ahmad is unselfish, he's out there blocking on one of uh, Tyson's big runs, and, um, you know, that's unselfish play. What about being undefeated? Feeling good? It feels good right now. You're out there, what did you tell your guys when you kept seeing this thing go seesaw back and forth? I just said we gotta calm down, you know, it's a big game. Arise was a great team, that's why they're undefeated as well, we just gotta calm down play our game, play our game. And when we play our game, we're a very good team. You are a calm, calm, calm guy out there, man, and you direct the offense. You know, what did you see from your skill position guys like Ahmad and Tyshawn and all those guys that help you get it together on offense? Well, we've been together for a long time, you know, five, six years. The start in the summer, we finally grew up and we said, we could be special. We could put up five, six touchdowns a game if we stick together and we just trust each other. And the show today, we needed everybody. Justin, Justin Cambry, Ahmad, Kwana Kali, David Collins coming in the block for us. 
Every, it was a team effort today. Team effort. I talked to, to your coach about the resiliency of your squad. You know, what did you say to each other when you got down and you had to come back late down the stretch? Calm down. Don't look at the scoreboard. We got time. We can put up the points in a minute. Let's just close our eyes. Let's just play. It's 0-0 zero, zero to us. And after that, we scored. We got the, you know, great defense. Our defense is very, very underrated. You know, they get, they, they might break a little bit, but guess what? They come up clutch, and they gave me another chance, and that's all I asked, and we were able to march down the field play. Finally undefeated here in the regular season as you build towards the playoffs. You know, how does that feel to keep putting up Ws, even when you had to pull it out down the stretch in this final one here? I think it's, uh, I think to me, it's a playoff atmosphere, and I think it's late in the year. We got to start to think playoffs. It's playoff. It's a playoff type of game, and every game from now on has to be playoffs. So that's what we did. We just said it's a playoff game. We got to start to build towards the playoffs and continue to grow and continue to mature. How did you feel when you saw Ahmad come up with that two-point conversion? That's my guy. That's my big brother. You know, he's always there when I need him to, and he's there at the right time. I love him. Ahmad, sensational down the stretch, man. You guys never quit. It went back and forth. A real bomb burner, but you came away with the W. I mean, me and my team, we practice tempo and practice all week. So we've been down in, we've been down like that in week five when we was down with Lincoln. We already know how to fight back. My brothers and my brothers, we're gonna fight back through whatever we hit both of. You know, you punched them in the mouth early, but they rallied back and they never gave up. What did you talk about at halftime about how this was gonna be sort of a track meet? I mean, going into halftime, my coach told us not not to give up, not to give up, because they're a competitive team as well as us. So my thing was. Fight, 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 fight. Fight to the end, last whistle. First whistle to the last whistle, and we did that. You guys have mutual respect for each other's yeah. programs. Talk about that. As the game wore on, it really becomes a mental battle as well. I mean, both teams, we played with each other since we were younger. There's both teams played with each other since we were younger, youth, youth league. So, but when we're on the field, two different teams, got to go at it. Finally, you stay undefeated. You stay on the road towards Yankee Stadium. I know you take it game by game, but what does this mean in terms of building towards the playoff? I mean, this is a great win for me and my team. Of course, we're going to enjoy it, but we have work to do on Monday. So we're going to get back and get ready for Friday's night game. A lot of people have you on their radar, man. I've heard some talks about you possibly being a high school American. When you look at that, how do you feel about that? I mean, it feels like all my hard work is going into consideration. Everybody's noticed my homework. I feel proud of what I've, what I've been doing since I was this age. It's, it's a great, it's just a great, it's a great feeling. Best of luck, man.